Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Uh, still recording on January 14th, picking up where we left off with uh, the dollars text field. And we have a whole bunch of things working now. Um, I think, I mean, I'm, it's hard to say for sure, but I think I've got everything working that needs to be working. Um, that, of course, doesn't work. Multiple periods are wrong, you know, minuses are wrong. Let's see, does that round? It does. Great. So I think the next thing is I'd like this to format as the dollar sign when it loses focus. Well, I have two things I need to do. One is to handle the case when uh, I've entered a bad value. And two is to handle the case when um, I'm format. Uh, tabbing in and away from the field, uh, I'd like it to, to do a complete formatting job. So the bad value is a little bit more complicated because I think what I want to do, and this is going to be a bit tricky, it's, it's actually going to be really cool, but it's going to be a bit tricky. When the value is bad, I'd like that to actually cascade to the rest of the system. So that's going to be really quite interesting. Um, but it does mean that there's going to be a lot of work going into that. So what I want to do is say if I have a D in here like that, I'd like a little exclamation mark or something to show up here. And then I would like an exclamation mark to show up here as well, which means it will show up here. I really want it to cascade throughout. And that's, that's going to be very cool. It's going to be a lot of fun to do. Uh, it's going to build on our existing model. What we'll have is we'll have a different type of dollars. We'll have an invalid dollars class, and it will render properly and stuff. And it's it's going to be awesome. But um, at least that's what I'm thinking right now. But uh, that's a bigger thing. So I think what I'd like to do is before I get to that, is just get the basic case of formatting this when the focus leaves. So. Now, how can I do that? I have no idea. You know, it occurs to me I never explicitly tested Okay, so, so what shall I do next? Um, yeah, I want to do the focus stuff. The trick there is how do I force the field to lose focus? I don't know if I can do that. This may be this may be a case where I just set up the listeners and um, test on those and then as assume that you know check my assumptions manually that that actually does what I think it does.
Okay, it looks like process focus event is the main thing I need here. Let's uh, take a quick look at the docs. Okay, that's inherited. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, do a little research on this, and come back. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I think I've got this figured out, or, or at least an idea. What I can do is I can send in a focus event. Um, this patch event, I think, will do what I want. Um, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Yeah, it looks like it's going to work. So, um, let's see, we want to focus event. Now this is definitely going into some of the internals of the system, which is not necessarily a great idea. But um, this public, so... say that you've gained focus. All right. Hoping this is failing just because of imports. What's going on here? Ah. There we go. So I'm hoping that will pass because we're not testing anything yet. And now let's assert that the text, so we'll set the value. to 10. And then after the event is dispatched, I would like it to say 10 with a dollar sign. Now, I'm not sure if that event dispatching happens asynchronously or not, so that could be interesting. We'll see what happens. So we expected $10, but it just was 10. So now inside of dollars text field, I think we just need to set up a, a handler. Now, another option is um, there is a field that we can, a method that we can look at. Let's see, what's it called? Eh, let's just add a focus listener. So when that focus is gained, we want to um, set the text of get dollars to string. Simple enough. I wonder if it'll work. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, why? Why is that not working? Oh, this is probably. 
oh, what's the name of the container? Base. Oh, I think I have to say this dollars text field dot this. Yeah. Unused. Did I do something wrong? Oh. There we go. Oh, it worked. Wow, that's that's cool and a minor miracle. Uh, let's see that again. It failed. It worked. Huh. Who'd have thunk? Okay. Wow, that's um, that was way easier than I expected it to be. So let's see how this works in practice. If I'm in here doing a, oh, look at that. Um, make a quick note of that. get that piece in and then yeah oh. there we go okay so as I was saying if I type in one two three and then Oh, I said focus game, but it should have been focus lost. Silly me. Um, it looks like my tab is working for some reason now. Okay, we are just about out of time. I'm hoping I can get this in before the end of the video. And no. Well, that will be the first thing we do next time. So thanks everybody for watching. I will catch you next time.